Hey y'all, welcome back if you're a returning viewer. Okay, so I'm coming at you with a really quick and cheap um, dinner for tonight. It's really good for after school, you know, because it's really fast. We're going to make some French bread pizza. Um, tonight I'm just doing pepperoni. I do have like a, um, a Philly cheesesteak pizza on the menu, but... Um, since it's already late, I'm just going to go ahead and do the quickest one and then show y'all how it's done. And already got my oven preheating to 350. So, let's get at it. myself, I just like to take some of the inside out and I can make croutons for whenever we're going to have salad. Um, you know, I don't have Caesar salad or any kind of salad on the menu this week, possibly um, a couple weeks from now. But I could just put in a Ziploc bag and put in the freezer. And then it'll be good to go. So I'm just going to gut out some of my bread. See? Just like that. My oven's going off. See? Alright, now I'm just going to go in with some of my pasta sauce. Um, I got the fire roasted pizza sauce. Um, it's really good. It smells amazing. So if you haven't tried it, you can try it. Me. Like for me, I don't like a lot of pasta, uh, pizza sauce. So I do very light. But then I do one that's heavy because my husband likes it. Um, also do like a um, spinach pizza, spinach artichoke pizza with the Alfredo sauce. Um, I have one that I do that's uh, chicken bacon. But... Um, Instead of without the ranch, I use the um, sriracha after it comes out of the oven, sriracha mayo over the top. Well, sriracha yogurt. Um, and that one's really good. And for the base of that one, I just use garlic. Yeah, like garlic herbs. And that's how it's done. And then I still have some more sauce to make like some pizza pockets with or something. So... Get that spread it all around. All around. Oops. Put that over there and we're gonna get these pepperonis going. Simple, fast, quick, less than 30 minutes. Um, probably less. Well, I know if you got like the smaller bag, um, they got them for 99 cents at the Dollar General. And then at Walmart, they have them for like um, $2.98. You can get the Walmart bread for, I think it's like $1.98, I believe. So the French bread from Walmart is a dollar. So it's very inexpensive, very cheap. Like if you're waiting for payday, but you need to feed them kiddos, this is a, a nice. And everybody likes it. You can customize it however you want to. You can do barbecue chicken. Um, you know, you can do barbecue chicken. You can do Italian. However you you want to, man. You can just do plain cheese. If you got somebody that just likes plain cheese. Um, you can do Supreme. That's my husband's favorite. Is Supreme. But, um, you know. They didn't have a sale on the um, fajita peppers and onions that I would usually buy. And I do have bell peppers and onions, but I don't have enough time before he has to go to get it all chopped up and done and, you know, all that. So we're just going to do pepperoni. And I can make him a supreme the other time. Another time. We're going to get taco pizza. Like if you have some taco meat left over, you could do a buffalo pizza, you could do a fajita meat pizza, I mean, whatever, because pizzas get expensive, I tell you, my stores over here, in my small town, we don't have a lot of stores to choose from, but like the Dollar Tree would have like a uh, Red Baron, that's my husband's favorite brand of pizza. They would have it on sale three for like a 10. Now it's two for 10. I'm not, mm -mm, no, when I can make it for cheaper than that, I'm good. I'll just do it. 
like this. I mean, it's like five or six dollars. And then you can have dinner done. And really all you're doing is heating up the bread and melting the cheese. That's all you're basically doing. So six dollars in less than 30 minutes. Count me in. It's good to have to have like little these, you know, these quick little stuff like this. Um, quick little easy recipes that you need to have in your back pocket that you could just pull out and use when you're like don't have a lot of time say the kids have you know basketball games football games soccer games is something quick simple and really fast and i like to sprinkle um oregano and red um pepper flakes over the top so I'm gonna do that all right do some Italian seasoning you know Walmart sells those uh, garlic butter breads you can get some of those and do like pop jars and dip it in you got some extra marinara if you're a dipper me, I'm really not a dipper unless it's like Buffalo Ranch. So, but I did have to clean up my fridge and I didn't pick up any more um, salad dressings when I went grocery shopping. So here it is. Now I'll pop it in the oven. I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it comes out. And there it is. Now if you got fresh cheese, it'll melt a lot better. But, um, since since I used the uh, shredded cheese, this is what it looks like. Now you want to let it rest for like um, five minutes just so whenever you could open all the cheese doesn't come flowing out. All right, I'll show you what it looks like plated up. All right, here's what it looks like all plated up. Look at that layers and layers. Looks good. All right, look at that. Bam, bam. Alright, well, I hope y'all enjoyed my video. Like, subscribe, share. See y'all next time. Bye, guys.